Hey, what's up guys? It's Chris from Targer.ca and Butter Studios. And today we're gonna to talk about roller cases. And uh, you know, you wanna protect your gear, right? So we're gonna talk about Strobe Pro in particular and their ultimate wheel kit bags. Uh, they have the medium and the large. I actually have both. So I spent years carrying like multiple bags to gigs and um, you know, it was always a pain because you know, I got my uh, backdrop stand, light stand bag, and then my camera bag, and then uh, additional gear bag for like my light stands and um, uh, my lights and everything, right? So I'm all about efficiency. I want to be able to just make one trip from my car to where I need to set up and then away we go instead of making multiple trips back and forth. So I discovered a Stroh Pro shop thanks to one of my Butter Studios colleagues, Sophie. So shout out to Sophie there. And um, they're awesome roller bags. I mean, they sell a lot of stuff, but I focused in on their roller bags. And um, you know, they're meant for strobes and portable studio kits, but I found, you know, other great uses for both bags. So I actually started out with the large ultimate wheel kit bag. With the larger ultimate wheel kit bag, you can fit all of your strobes, your cables, cords, your uh, tripod, light stands, and um, you even have uh, room for a couple extra lenses, a tether kit like your laptop. I mean, I love using it for my portrait station setup and portrait station gigs because I can even fit my die sub printer in there uh, as well as the light stand. So again, efficiency, less things to carry, less trips from my car to where I need to set up. Now, there are some gigs uh, that I have where I don't require quite as much gear. Uh, that's where the medium ultimate wheel kit bag comes in to play um, for like when I'm filming small businesses or doing a quick headshot session. Uh, you know, for videos, it's, it, it's great because I can fit in like uh, my teleprompter kit, my light stand monopod, gimbal, you know, you name it and um, all of my sound gear as well. So basically just have my shoulder carry camera bag and one of my wheeled kit bags uh, to carry the heavy stuff and I am good to go. I mean, you can see from the pricing, like it's priced very well for what it is. It's very well, very well built kits. Like I actually feel a connection with the designer and I feel like they worked a lot of the same gigs that I have because you know, it's, it's, it's perfect. It's what I've been looking for for years. And, um, you know, I'm sure there, are, if you're willing to pay thousands, there are some out there that would be absolutely perfect. But you know, at this pricing, 279.95 for the large and 219.95 for the medium, great price points. I mean, you know, some camera bags uh, can cost a lot more than that. But as you can see, both have awesome ball bearing polyurethane wheels and they're replaceable as well. So, you know, after a few years, it, it does wear down, you can replace it. And it's basically rollerblade style wheels. So you know that they roll really good. Uh, reinforced top handle. I like to, I like to really push bags to their limit and then probably put in more weight than it's rated for. And, but you know, I can feel the, in these handles and after years of experience, it's uh, very trustworthy and I can trust that it can handle uh, heavy load. YKK rated heavy duty zippers. These are not gonna break. Sometimes, you know, when you buy uh, XYZ companies, um, light stands or lights, it comes with certain bags and you can tell the zippers are just really cheap and you know it's going to fall apart after a couple of uses. Not the case with uh, YKK and um, I love the zippers uh, on these bags and uh, full skid plates so you know when you roll it up the curb you don't have to lift it up completely which is nice you can kind of slide it up and keep on rolling metal reinforcement really nice tough build on it uh, it's solid it's not a soft bag uh, at all but it is nice and soft inside with the gray uh, interior so that you can easily find like your black equipment and uh, black cables and whatnot in terms of measurements, I will quickly go over the interior dimensions, but you can check out the description for the exterior dimensions. Uh, for the mediums, 30 and a half inches length, uh, 14 inches width, and 11.5 inches depth. Uh, whereas the large, it differs a little bit on the width and depth, uh, 0.5 inches on both fronts, but where it's a big difference is 38.5 inches in length. So when you see it standing up side by side, you can tell a bit of the difference. Uh, definitely, you know, if you constantly use larger light stands or, or bigger soft boxes, bigger umbrellas, then you probably want to go with the large. 
Uh, otherwise, the medium will do if you have um, sort of like a quick kit. Uh, you use something smaller like pocket strobes like the 8200s or 8200 Pros, uh, that sort of thing, then uh, you can definitely fit a lot more if you want to fit like four of them in there. Uh, along with the accessories that come with it. So that was just a quick review. I love these Strobe Pro bags. I've used about a hundred different bags uh, in the last 10 years and I love these ones. It's well built, uh, great pricing, fits all your gear. Uh, and you know, I didn't even mention a couple of features, but like just the zipper pockets and stuff to hide your cables. And uh, oh yeah, there's an extra two inches uh, of lid space. So after you put all your gear in, there's actually a pad that goes on top and then you can put additional light stands or you know that's where you can put your gimbal laptop if you're using it for video um, i am not sponsored by them per se uh, but i did sign up as an affiliate so if you do decide to purchase one please use the affiliate link in the video description i would really appreciate it and uh you know i would really recommend it you know really nothing bad to say about these bags so two thumbs up check out the description for more uh, details and more specs on the bags and uh, if you like this review and want to see more subscribe make sure you like and otherwise you know i hope you stay safe take care laters